All right, Alice. Tell me all about it. How am I going to woo the wild animals into my arms? Well now, my dear, you've held up your end of the bargain by building my pet center, and I'll hold up my end. I will tell you how to make friends with wild creatures. The first thing you'll need to learn is to be less clumsy in your footsteps. When approaching wildlife, you, wanna, you don't want to get too close too fast. Slowly approach the animal, and when you feel you are close enough, get the animal's attention in some manner. This will take some practice. Start by practicing this part. We'll continue the lesson once you get this right. Oh, okay. Oh, yay! Okay, so now we are going to approach a wild animal slowly and try to become mutual friends by being kind. I can totally be kind to the wildlife. But hello, everyone, and welcome back to the keep here in what will hopefully become Mosdenia. Mosdenia Forest is um, a little village that we're building up. And we actually have a few new residents. Alice, who is teaching us how to befriend animals, which we will soon have, hopefully, many of. And if we come over here, we could actually see some of our residents working in the fields now, which is really exciting. Hopefully they're gonna improve the quality of the fields and they've changed the kind of clothes that they're wearing. So now they're actually wearing farming outfits. If a settlement has a town watch, that's great and all, but there needs to be more than that. It needs to be controlled and lawful like a courthouse. Interesting. I think she's saying she wants to see like a courthouse. I'm really bored. All right, thanks, Heath. That's that's uh, interesting. Tax time! We collected five crowns this period. Oh, that's so cool. We have a little bit of money, you guys. Huzzah, huzzah. There's only three people. We can do better. Let's actually start doing better by jumping over and seeing Dimba, who actually saw another group of the wood elves camping out where he is gathering up some raw resources for us. And we'll invite them into town, and once we do that, we will search out wild animals with Red the 16th, our halfling, who I'm assuming is like half hobbit. Oh, wait, 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 we can do it right here. There's bunnies. Okay, let's approach the bunny slowly. Oh, look, the bunny has trust and interest in us. Your approach was, uh, you, oh, it's the pet trainer. Good, good, good. Your approach went surprisingly well. I'm almost impressed. Keep that up. The next step is to earn the animal's trust. Gotcha. Before it loses interest. Keep in mind that some animals are more difficult to befriend than others. And you might need to practice more trusting animals before you can befriend more difficult ones. Okay, now while this isn't true for all animals, those around here appreciate being pet. You can earn their trust this way. If the animal begins to lose interest in you, your petting will be less effective at earning trust. When this happens, you can get their attention again by whistling softly or acting silly. Once you've decided what to do next, be sure to time the action just right. All right, so we want to try to get three stars and by acting in the correct manner to convey confidence and the animals will be happy. All right, so let's go ahead and touch. We're gonna scratch the bunny. Can I scratch the bunny? Interesting. Touch, pet the bunny. Okay, apparently I gained its trust. The bunny was startled by something. Oh, this is very different than I was expecting. All right, get attention. Uh, let's see, pet. All right, I pet the bunny again, I think. And then the bunny gets startled by something, I think. Touch, pet, let's pet the bunny again. Okay, I think I need to like try harder. All right, bunny was startled by something. Fooey. All right, go, 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 go. All right, and pet the bunny. Oh, there we go. Okay, you're supposed to like click and interact with that. Just in time. And Oh, I missed it on the third one. Okay. And now the bunny is going to be startled. It doesn't trust me! Try, 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 try. Wait for it. Okay, this is actually kind of tricky. Because you have to wait until you get into the stars. And that's actually harder than it sounds. Fooey. All right, interest is going down. The bunny's going to be startled by something next. 
Huh. And now it's losing interest. Guys, this is hard! Alright, I got that one perfect. Okay, and then you get a second chance. Alright, touch, pet. Go, go, go! Alright, better than nothing. Oh, jeez! This is really hard! I thought this would be easy. The bunny's now distracted. That's better than it being... Okay, there we go! Oh, look! There's somebody walking back there! Come work for me! Give me your taxes! Okay, that's better. Oh, here we go, guys! I think we're gonna get a bunny! It's losing a little interest in us. So let's go ahead and get attention. Let's act silly. It takes away trust, but it adds interest. Uh, we can also whistle. Let's try whistling. Oh, wait, I was supposed to react to that. Fooey, okay. Oh, I was startled by something. Oh, geez, okay, this is very hard. We'll work on this later. Citizens are having a hard time finding restrooms in town. They'd be grateful if we built more. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to have to go ahead and try to earn an animal's kindness. I don't think Timba, with his Timba, is really the one who's going to be able to reassure the little woodland creatures. But maybe we will actually have better luck with Red. So let's see if there's anybody who we can convince to move in. This is one of the Odo folk. They're actually like travelers. I'm glad Blink Smith is around when my tools need sharpened. The prices are a little steep, but no one can sharpen an ax like she can. <gasps> there's a blacksmith somewhere nearby. Holy cow, and there's so many people living here. Come give me your taxes. I really love the scenery of where y'all have picked, but come on, come, come move in. Would you two like to live in Mostinia? Oh, thank you for the invitation. We'll leave for Mostinia immediately. Oh, these poor guys. They've never had a place to call their own. Let's add these two as well. Oh, there's just one person here. Would you like to live in Mustinia? Oh, thank you for the invitation. I will leave for Mustinia Forest immediately. Yay! All right, so we have a whole bunch of new people who are now hanging out. Oh, look, and we found a teleporter. All right, let's grab this. I think I need to build more outhouses now. And let's activate this teleporter. Surveyor's hut stones discovered. Right, right, cool. Kind of funny how quickly you can get used to a giant shiny prismatic shard. Let's grab some more of ye olde stones. And then let's actually check in. And we've got a lot more people now here in town and let's check how they're doing really quickly. So we can come see our citizens. Uh, there's farmers, 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 and a builder! Oh my gosh, and they're kind of bored. <laughs> so I wonder if there's anything we can build for them. No, like, pun intended, because we were just looking at a builder. That would keep them interested. Because I think if we could get, like, some little bunnies here, then everybody would be super duper happy. But we don't have any entertainment just yet. I don't have any education. We just have, like, what if I added a pet center to a tent? No, here's a tent, right? And then what if we take the tent and we put the pet center together? Anything? All right, let's go through everything we know. Bathhouse and pet center? Pet center and paths? Okay, pet center and tent doesn't do anything. We need to build more of a whole bunch of things. What about the market? Let's try building a market. Maybe if we build, I need more wood, but we can go ahead and actually have, oh, 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 another bunny. It's a jackrabbit, that's a level four. Ooh. Remember, you're trying to earn the animal's trust before it loses interest. Okay, press again at the third star. Some animals are more difficult than others. Let's pet. Better than nothing, did I gain his trust? I think so. Oh, we actually have this jackrabbit's attention. What happens if we become friends with a jackrabbit? I wanna know. Okay, I think I'm actually getting this now. All right, and the little guy, no, he was startled by something. Why, can I give him an item? I don't have any items I can give him. 
Nope. I think this is a no-go again. Who knew it was going to be so hard to be able to interact? Yeah, look, that's only like 2%. I can't keep ahead of him. All right. We'll work on this. We'll work on this. It's going to be a little tricksy. Uh, there's bears. I imagine that's going to be tricky too. Hello? Halt! I love doing that. This door is under maintenance. Come back another time. What? There's just like gigantic doors here? All right. There's a bear. Hmm. I don't really want... Nice. There's the wood we need. I don't really want to befriend a bear at the moment. I've got some juicy gossip. You know the prestigious Cornerstone family from Fairwillow? Well, no, but go on. Well, I hear their son Mac is quite the party animal. The matriarch, Lydia, is pay is looking to pay someone to bring him home to stop embarrassing the family. What? Okay, we'll look into that later. What's going on in here? What'd you find in here, bear? Interesting. The bear has discovered another puzzle place. There are a lot of ruins all over the place. There's three puzzle pieces to stand in over there. There's a lot of stuff to collect over here. More jackrabbits. Oh, look, there's more people. Yes. Do I actually have enough places for these people to live, though? For my town structures. Um, does it tell me how many people like are in the houses? House. Outhouses. Does it tell me if they have a home? Let's see, we have one, two, three people in the house, two in the tent, four in the house. Uh, I think we have like two more tents. Yes, we have two more tents, so we have enough room for these people to come move in. Hello, wandering travelers. Would you three like to live in Mosdinia? We would love to join Mosdinia Forest, but there's not enough room for us. When you've built enough housing for the three of us, come back and find us. What? What? Okay, we can go ahead and fix that. Ugh, I really wanted... Why is the build cost? Oh, the build cost is down a little? Interesting. I don't have enough money for that, but the build cost is actually down. I wonder if that's because we have... Oh, a builder! Maybe the more builders we have, the easier it becomes to build things. That's so cool. Well, should I just go ahead and build a little one right now? I'm just going to build a tent right now. We'll just throw down another little tent really quickly. Because why not? Just people can get nice and cozy with one another. Uh, they're just hanging out. Somebody wants to live next to the bathhouse, maybe. Probably not. Uh, but you know what? It's going to happen. <laughs> there we go. That's kind of fun. I really like that there's such a mix of different things that you're doing. Oh, wait. No, they want a house with all three of them together. So I just wasted monies. Oh, they don't want to split their family up. I mean, that makes sense, but still. And there's another group of three. We need more, like, stuff, guys. Phooey. And that means that we rely on our yieldy good timber. Timber, try to... This is a level one bunny. Let's do this, Timber. We got this. Come on. All right. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Thank you. We're going to go ahead and pet the bunny. <gasps> yes! All right, let's do this. Maybe we can get a bunny for the village and everybody will be happy. Pet the bunny. Oh, yes! Okay, I finally got it. All right, come on. We're going to stay ahead of the bunny's boredom. Oh, we can ear scratch the bunny! Yes! And that actually increased his interest. I'm so happy. And he was startled. But we, we can now... Do both things at once. Pet that bunny. There we go. This is what we should be doing. Who needs bathrooms and who needs... Oh, and we can tussle its little head. Oh! So you don't have to just like grind. Like grinding sounds odd in this context because it's a bunny. Uh, but you don't have to just like grind giving it little pets. You can actually go ahead. <gasps> Give him a hug. Give him a hug! It was a perfect hug! We made a friend! Good job. Oh, and we got some XP. That's so cool. I'm gonna name her April. Oh, that sounds perfect. Yes, good. I'm quite pleased with your progress. You've done well. From a stompy oaf to a gentle-handed bunny whisperer. Oh my gosh, bunny whisperer. 
You have a ways to go before you can charm the more intelligent or skittish animals, but with practice you'll be hobnobbing with the dragons? Pardon? On the hill? Your new friend can follow you around and help out however they can, or they will return to the pet center or pet shelter. So we can equip them from the pet tab. Oh my gosh, look, April's here. Citizens need lots of, need entertainment. I'm getting lots of complaints. The Mostini is boring. Nonsense. Give the people something fun to do. We have a bunny. Oh, look, and she's following us. Oh, this is awesome. So she allows us to run faster and increases the maximum stamina boost when following red, which is pretty cool once we get to level three. Probably level three of um, the trainer level. I wonder if you have to individually train the trainer level. Oh, that's so cool, you guys. We have a little bunny. That makes me very happy in case you guys couldn't tell. All right, what else do we have over here? Whoops, sorry about that. It's so interesting how you can just jump between three different groups. All right, let's knock this big tree down. Timba! Nice. And what on earth is going on over here? Hello? Surveyor Runip. Well, hello there. My name is Surveyor Runip. I must say, I almost did not see you standing there. Hey, just because we're short, dude. You are an odd look- you are odd looking for a wood elf. Well, perhaps you are not a wood elf. My eyes are not very strong, so I find it hard to tell. I was ordered out here by our leaders to negotiate land treaties with Mosdinia. I must say, though, that our ideas of currency and valuable goods don't necessarily mesh. Our village is devoted to a life of peace with our environment. It's spiritual to us. We try to make as little of an impact on our land as possible, so a lot of the material goods that Duchess Schick has been offering is just not appealing. I tried to convince her to help us find sprites in place of gold as payment, but she kept insisting she didn't have time for metaphors. I don't think she can see them. Ah, you say you're part of the con uh, colonialization effort of Mosdinia, then. Perhaps you can help us, help you, help each other, you know. Sprites are ghosts, but please don't be afraid of them. They are friendly and childlike, very good-natured sprites that are lost and aimless in the woods. We see it as our duty, as the shepherds of this land, to care for them and see that they pass on into the afterlife. This is very important to us, as we believe them to be the lost souls of Nabu people like us. If you could bring me 20 sprites, I would most certainly renegotiate our treaty and officially sanction the expansion of Mostinia. So that's how we expand. It's not with money. It's with helping the forest spirits. That's really cool. I will give you and your companions a charm to wear. These charms are attractive to the sprites and it will force them to temporarily bind themselves to it until you can bring them back to me. Fair warning though, they'll pl probably fly all over you at first, which tickles. Oh, sprite charms. Now we can see the spirit realm and we can go ahead and collect the spirits. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so fun. And now like we have a bunny and we have spirits. Everybody just like get out the heck of the way of timber because this guy is just making everything happen. Also, what the heck are these? This must be another puzzle, I bet. Interesting. It's extremely threatening looking. Huh. But yeah, that's actually extremely threatening looking. What is going on here? And April's just like hiding in the grasses. All right, guys, I'm pretty intrigued and having a wonderful time. We are expanding the, ex like we're exploring the forest. We're going ahead and we are expanding the town. And we are now working with bunnies and wood sprites. How amazing is that? If you guys could, do please leave a like for the adorable Timber, or excuse me, the ador, like Timber's adorable, but I'm in April, Timber's new bunny. Uh, speaking of which, Dimba! And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Whoop! A pile of wood, yes! Bye bye